Hello, sniffing it out, detective agency. How can we help you? Hello, I really hope you can help me. I have a bit of a mystery and it's a little heartfelt mystery. My darling big brother um, passed away when he was 18 and he had been going out with this girl called Tracy and he wrote some beautiful songs for her. And I have recordings of these songs, but I would just love to be able to share this music with her. And I know she's out there somewhere, but I have no way of finding her unless these amazing detectives at the ABC can help me. Annabelle, uh, we're going to do it for you. Thank you for your call. Thank you. Hello. Hello, is that Tracy? It is. We're about to crack a case. How does it feel just before? Well, this is the culmination. Uh, can I say climax? No, say don't say it. This is the end result of a remarkable, remarkable case. A sister looking out for her brother who passed away 40 years ago. He wrote some songs. We're about to meet the woman that he wrote the songs for. I feel sick, actually. Do you? Yeah. Well, I'd see a doctor. Here we go. Come on. She's disappeared. No, there she is. We know that that's Tracy. I do this. Oh, I think I need a hug. How you going? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Nervous. Let's go and check. We've got some stuff that we want you to look at yes. to see, just to absolutely be sure before we meet um, Annabelle today. Yeah. Yeah that you are the Tracy that we've been looking well, for. You're looking at 42, 43 years ago, and you go, oh, God, you know. The photo was the thing I think that actually helped bring it back. That yes, one. that's iconic. That was what he mainly wore. Yes, look, isn't, wasn't he a spunk? <laughs> the relationship happened um, in letters, as you know. Have you got the copy of the letter for Tracy to have a look at? Oh. God, I was a teenager in angst, wasn't I? What are you reading? Till all comes together in one passionate embrace, where all the emotions are mixed into one full fulfillness, God, that's trouble spelling, of ultimate pleasure and nothing else in the world matters. How did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to introduce you to Steve-O Spunk's sister. She's been trying to find you. She doesn't know that you're here today. And she's going to play you the music that she's been desperately hoping that you can hear, the love songs that he wrote you and didn't get to play for you. On her side, I think it would help with closure as well. Okay. But anyway. We just need you to move closer to sure. that. Um, so what we wanted to do today was just have a look at some of the beautiful uh, letters yeah. and the memories and to talk a little bit about the music. So mm -hmm. firstly, when did you find that love letter from Tracy to Steve? I've never clapped eyes on this before. And that's why when I found it, I thought, oh, he really does want me to find her because I've been through that oh. box of things so many times over the last 40 years and never seen it. It's just surfaced. And um, what about the music? Have you always known that there's been these tapes and these songs written and did you know it was for this mysterious girl called Tracy? I did. Yeah, I, I, I knew full well that these songs were written for her and about her. And and it's always been on my mind. I would love to find her again. And I regret not seeking her out earlier. But, you know, I was just a kid dealing with her big brother dying, so it wasn't on my priority list, I guess. I want to ask you too, why now? Why did you contact Brian and I? Because I love the kind of things that you cover on this show and I just thought if anybody has the reach to find Tracy, it would be you. I've just I've just always wanted to find her, yeah. but um yeah, I, I guess life just got in the way. You know? How do you think you'll feel if we find her? I will be delighted. Look, I, I'm concerned that maybe she doesn't want to hear the songs which is fine and you know she was just a 16 year old girl yep. and that would be a really hard thing to get your head and your heart around wouldn't it losing mm. somebody you'd been out with and um and he was madly in love with her as well he didn't take the breakup well well we have found her are you serious are you serious we have found <gasps> her and she's here to meet you today no way <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is crazy.
Tracy, am I? Tracy, a hug? Oh, yes. Annabelle. You did it. There you go. I can't yeah. believe you found her. We found Tracy. We did it. <laughs> Tracy has had an opportunity to see this and to think about this. So this isn't new for her. She's no. completely has yeah. gone down memory lane. <gasps> How it's unreal. amazing. <laughs> just amazing. I know. Oh. But like I was just listening. Like you said, I I've heard none of the songs. None of them. After we had broken up and that was my family situation that wasn't because of Steve at all yeah. um your mum rang me up when Steve passed away to tell me and it was it was so hard because uh, you know the kitchen mm. phone and mum's in the kitchen mm-hmm. and nobody knew about him you know so mm-hmm. it was really difficult to say too much to your mum and I couldn't go to the funeral because there's no way for me to get there then mm. you know my dad wouldn't have let me have a boyfriend then, yeah, you know, so he was my secret boyfriend. I you do a should lot of show cooking. Annabelle that picture, that photo of you. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, you, you look exactly the same. <laughs> wow. Isn't that wow. beautiful? Should we do what we've come here to do and yes. play those songs to yes. Tracy? Oh, the old All cassettes. Right. From the cassette, <laughs> and it should be remarked, Steve-O's songs... Eight, twelve, mm. seventy nine. Mm. So this is the eighth mm. of December. So a week before he died. Mm. God. Yeah. In the Golden River. Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, very very fine sound system. <laughs> I will hold it up just so we can hear it. But this is right from the start of side one. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> Can't see the face now. going wild. Isn't it beautiful? (laughs) Losing him at such a young age Mm. with such potential. Like he was just such a a gifted, sweet young man. Um, I think for everyone in the family, it put a mark on us to appreciate, you know, where we are, what we're doing, what's possible, because it's a pretty tough lesson to learn that early in your life oh, that things can just be taken away yes. in a blink. Yep. Um, so, yeah. But I do often wonder about the music that didn't get written because he didn't get to live his life, mm. of the songs that we don't treasure and hold. These ones I've treasured and hold held for so many years, but I, I just always wonder what what other music was coming out of him and what 
that potential that was within him would have would have oh, brought about for sure, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah, he was a poet. Mm. He really was. How does it feel to meet Tracy after all these years? I am just beside myself. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so happy. I've been, I've been sitting with this for such a long time, such a mm. long time, and I don't know. Given given how beautiful these songs are and how much love is in them, and he was nuts about you. I just, I just really hoped that I would be able to find you. I'm oh. so grateful. I can't even tell you. Thank you. No, I'm, so. I'm loving the trip down memory lane. <laughs> really right. am. Well, yeah. look, maybe Steve-O should have the last word. Maybe. What do you think? Yeah. When I see you